Hi, and welcome to Wonderful Wednesday. I'm here with Frank Nowak, who is uh, a newer UUC member and also uh, an artist who has really blossomed with his art during the pandemic. And so, Frank, we were hoping that maybe you would share how art and photography and just some of the other things that you've done to get through this time. Sure. Uh, when COVID hit, my doctor told me I should probably stay home and uh, avoid uh, contacting other people for a while. So I needed to find something to fill my time. So I went to YouTube and uh, I discovered uh, epoxy art and I got into that and it was an enjoyable thing to do. And I, I got some nice pieces, but it was pretty much, uh, if, if you didn't get everything mixed just right, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't going to stick or be good. So I looked a little further and then I found acrylic pour art, which uh, is a lot of fun. I found it to be a lot of fun. And uh, uh, you just put paint on paint on a canvas and you move it around and until it looks like something that looks great. And, <laughs> and uh, or at least you think it looks great. And I've got some of it hanging at um, Art of the Valley up on Claremont Avenue. Wonderful. Yeah. And then, uh, so I've got like a 20 or 25 pieces of that and I'm continuing doing it. Mm -hmm. And then I, uh, I used to, I was into photography many years ago. So I thought, well, I'm going to get back into that. So now I've been doing landscape photography and I got a lot of old buildings, uh, photos of old buildings, uh, a lot of uh, woody area. Uh, photos. And actually, I did a wedding on a, a bridge that's uh, condemned right now, but it's a beautiful site. It goes over the river and there's uh, all kinds of rock formations and water running and, and splashing water. It's just a beautiful site. Uh, and I've got a lot of pictures of that, of course. So I've been doing a lot of photography. I've, I've uh, got that at uh, Art of the Valley also. So um, I just just enjoying doing everything. What uh, brought uh, you into doing art and photography when you were younger? You said uh, you used to do a lot of photography before. Yeah, I did. And uh, I actually have never done any art type stuff. Uh, you know, busy making a living and raising yeah. a family. Right. But I I've done uh, when I was younger. I did a couple of weddings, and people really enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, and I used to do, uh, landscapes also, and it was just a fun thing to do, uh, you know, just putting stuff together and, and being able to look at it again. So, and, what, uh, what's been important to you during the pandemic to, um, kind of help you through this time apart since it sounds like you were definitely buttoned down for quite a bit. Right. Well, with the photography, I, I'm able to get out go by myself and go into different locations. Mm -hmm. And and in doing that, you learn about different parts of Wisconsin. Uh, I've been down to Alma, down on the Mississippi River to photograph eagles. I've gotten a couple pictures, but not as great as some of the other guys have gotten. But again, you know, you got to do a lot of it in order to get good at it. Uh, I've been up in uh, Northern Wisconsin taking pictures of lakes. Um, you know, over by Minneapolis, uh, taking pictures. So I'm learning a lot about the different part of the parts of the, you know, 90 mile radius of Eau Claire. And, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. So, and every, every different part's got a little something different to offer. Well, how does some of that speak to your spirituality and to, you know, nature and just being out in it? Okay. Well, I am, I am a pantheist. Mm -hmm. So I believe that the universe is God and everything in the universe is God, including us. So when I see nature, I, you know, I'm seeing my God. And, uh, I, I, and also I, uh, Native American spirituality is important to me. I think they had it figured out when it came to, to uh, treating the, um, treating the earth and other people the way they should be treated. 
Uh, so, yeah, so the universe is very important to us and, of course, to our children and to our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And uh, so taking pictures of it and, and showing showing it to different people, maybe it helps them to realize, too, that it's a wonderful thing that we need to take care of. Yeah, inspiring awe and beauty and yes, sustainability. Yes. Yeah. So. Well, what... Um, what are your hopes uh, for your art going forward, you know, as hopefully we continue to get people vaccinated and things move in a better direction? Do you have any um, excitement around that or, or thoughts going forward? Well, yes. Yeah. I, I hope to get better at what I do, first <laughs> of all. <laughs> and uh, I've got a couple of different uh, consignment shops up north that I'm going to try to put some art in. Yeah. And I guess my goal is just to share what I see with others and uh, hope, hope that people appreciate it. What, uh, I, I know you have some grandchildren and have they enjoyed uh, seeing your art or are they too small to appreciate it yet? Uh, they're pretty small. My, my grandson Theo is uh, just turned six. Okay. And, and my granddaughter uh, Coralie uh, is uh, 11 months old. So. Yeah. Yeah. But what a treat they are. Uh, I'll tell you, you, you don't you don't understand uh, grandchildren or they're just so wonderful to have around. They're they're precious, you know. So. Well, what would uh, a little Frank Nowick <laughs> think of um, of this direction of art? Was that encouraged when you were younger to be artistic or creative or? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. I, I was raised to be a, a football player. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so you're definitely exploring. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this is all brand new to me and I'm loving every minute of it. It's wonderful. I, I, I spent most of my childhood trying to be, most of my childhood being an athlete. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Older person, I, I think to myself, geez, I wish I would have played a musical instrument when I was younger. <laughs> geez, I would have done this, you know, but you, but you don't, and you didn't. So here you are as an older person and, and uh, it's fun to have new things to learn about actually. And it's not too late to take an adventure like you're showing. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and it's, it's, you know, it's better than sitting in a chair somewhere and wondering what's going to, what tomorrow's going to bring. I feel like I'm out uh, discovering new, uh, new stuff and uh, excited about what tomorrow's going to bring. What are some things that um, that are important to you in life uh, as you know, what, one of the things that I've noticed about artistic people and, and, and you can definitely claim that is, is, you know, the way that you see the world, um, you know, what, what do you value? I mean, you talked about nature and kindness, I value kindness. And uh, I feel like part, I feel like my purpose on earth is to bring joy to others. You know, not that I always do that, or that I always understand how to do that. But I feel like I, that I'm able to get people to smile. And I, I enjoy talking about talking to other people about themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, I'd say joy and kindness are the two most important things in my life. Do you think um, you've you've been in the surrounding area for for quite a while? What do you think about the artistic community and how it's changed? Oh, it's just wonderful what Eau Claire has done. Uh, uh, I was born in Eau Claire, and uh, I won't tell you how long ago. Okay, but it, but I experienced a lot of years in Eau Claire where nothing ever happened. It just just sat. But I would say in the last fifteen years or so. Uh, people are coming forward, they're investing, they're making the downtown beautiful, you know, it's accessible now with a lot of stuff. It's just wonderful what's going on. And uh, this art gallery where I've got some stuff displayed, there's all kinds of local artists in there. And my God, it's just beautiful what they do. It just it, it knocks your socks off how amazing that art is and, and the talent that's in the area. And of course, music too has always been a wonderful thing in, in Eau Claire. So uh, I would say in the last 15, 20 years, but uh, yeah, it's, it's they, Eau Claire is doing a real good job of promoting 
art and music, and that's important. Do you think um, you'll do art with uh, your grandchildren as they get older, or? Yeah, I think I will. Um, yeah, yeah. My the grand I don't know the <laughs> granddaughter. The granddaughter is only eleven months old. Right, right, just, right. But she's such a joy to just to hold. You know, I, I'm I'm sure I'll be uh, showing them stuff I do and sharing with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just seems like um, it, it. Art is 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 such a spiritual gift, and um, yeah. Um, well, I, you know, I've gotten involved with the uh, UUC Sunday services, which I really enjoy doing. I, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I'm contributing and uh, uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I share on my Facebook what you guys, you know, what, how it well goes. So I'm hoping people will pick up on it. Well, good. Uh, UUC has got a wonderful message. Um, I've had some people watch your services with me in the chair next to me here and they're just amazed at the, the messages and how uh, how uh, kind and how uh, involved UUC is with people people's lives and and helping them or allowing them to be who they are it seems so long ago when we were in building your own theology class yeah <laughs> pre pandemic yes <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And that, yes, I, I wish we were getting back together like that. And hopefully we will soon, huh? In a year, maybe? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, and that and how special it is to hear people's voices and and reflections. Yes, yes. And yeah, yeah. They have someone in this being the same room with everybody is a wonderful thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your art. Do you do you have some art that you could show us uh, um, that that's near you or? Well, this is the latest thing I've done, um, and I really like it. I don't know. Um, that's Ooh, I use good. that for the background on different scenes I put together with my uh, photos. Yeah, and I, I also use this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, I like the colors on that one. Yeah. So, and this is one of my favorite photos. Oh my goodness! Yeah. That is that is uh, Lake Halley Lake on a stormy day. The storm uh, broke loose and the sun came out, and I just happened to be there to take that picture. Yeah, the reflection is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, you know, I got stuff laying around here. Probably, <laughs> yeah, you're like, you know. pull it out. I, yeah. The one that I, I remember seeing uh, recently was your eagle photo and the rainbow bridge. I, I love all the bridges with lights. It's amazing. Yes, yes. Um, someone picked up my uh, 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 canvas. I'm sorry. My canvas photo of the bridge down downtown mm -hmm. and uh, all lit up. And he says his daughter has that in her bedroom. <laughs> so that's fun to have a young person looking at that. And maybe you don't know what they're going to get out of it, but you know, hopefully they'll get something out of it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Putting your art out in the world is, you know, yeah, just... yeah it's, it's bound to influence them somehow. So. Well, thank you for sharing. And uh, what it, what is that behind you? Is that a, a photography light or? Yes, that's yeah. an umbrella with a light behind it. I got a, I have a couple of those. Yeah. And they just kind of backlight the. Yeah, it lights things up and it helps you with shadows and stuff. So, yeah. you, do you use that to, to highlight your art or do you use that with your photography or all the above? I use that with my photography. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I also have a box that I use for smaller stuff. Mm -hmm. I wish I, uh, I, I've got some eight by tens here, but I, I've got them in another room. Yeah. Of different stuff that I put together with different little figurines. Mm -hmm. I, I get really get a kick out of doing that sort of thing too. Well, good. Well, yeah. Well, thank you for being a part of Wonderful Wednesday, and um, hopefully we'll uh, see you before you know it. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Julie, and thank you for what you do, and thank you to UUC. Thank you.